Alright, welcome. Check it out. 120 hertz drawing tablet product. First of all, gotta point out, it is broken. Here's Barf Death. It's actually a miracle that the rest of the monitor's looking so good right now. Only some streaks. Usually you got like full invisibility or, you know, flashing colors, seizure, flickering. Right now, working pretty sweet. Yeah, so obviously we're gonna switch it out. So we got the tape here, not the resin yet. This is a screen protector. Where do you get such a big screen protector? This is actually 15 inch screen protector. It is actually a Tesla screen protector. There are some other out there like uh, Chromebook or whatever book. They do exist. I was going to buy custom built. I'm glad I didn't. This was only like 20 bucks. I 3D printed this thing. It's great. See, look how satisfying it is. Screwed in perfectly. This button, string of buttons that seated perfectly. Click, click, click. You can see that the menu is upside down. That's because the whole monitor is upside down. I, I kind of couldn't find a way around getting the ribbon coming out this side. You know, it would have had to come here. And then what? The, the controller board here or something? Yeah. I ended up with this and I don't regret it. This is awesome. Yeah. So that, that LED. This is also just a drilled hole and a uh, clear ABS filament. That is poked right there and shaped down so it's more flush and look at it look at it do work it is showing us the light yep perfect we're gonna glue it here maybe sideways controller board here it is i shaped down the body the tablet so it can fit nicely with each other doing this however cost interference like I guess the processor of this board was sending out signal and it was picking up on the tablet so I had to you know, cover it out that fixed that one as a demonstration I actually stripped off this you see this board this is the monitors controller board this is causing problems right now yeah so check it out um, Pen. Yeah, that's that's caused by up there, I think. You can see it shaking. That's that's not how a pen should work. This is how stocks go to zero. Oh shit. Yeah. Away from the top is working much better. See? It goes slowly. smooth yeah no no minimal wobbling maybe some wobbling because this wasn't intended to have like a screen in between it this is just like the screenless wacom large but it's working way better than i could have hoped i definitely can draw with this yeah so let's do some tests Let's do some fast ones. Okay, so... I'd say that's pretty responsive. Speedy curves, no segmentation, the lines, just perfect. And no stabilization either. See, the stabilization means a lot, like having that zero. See, you can write very naturally, like, let's see. Hello, world. That felt great to write. So smooth. Yeah, is that on other tablets that aren't as responsive? It, I'd say it's similar to putting like stabilization at some amount. So when you try to write fast, you be like, "Hello, world." It actually went pretty well. Like, it more feels something like maybe more more stabilization. Let's see. Yeah, like it gets all corner cutty. And besides 
corner cutting, it's messing with your brain. So you, you see it and you, you try to adjust to it and then it gets ugly, but no. Stabilization, zero. So we can write, write naturally. Wow, so great. All right, now let's try converging on a point. So this is very, very intuitive on this tablet. Like Wacom pens, I think, compared to others, are really good at the tip matching up, especially on tilt. They, they're specializing their tilt, right? It's not this good on at least a few others I tried, like Huion and XP Pen. Like this is lined up, and you know, this is kind of lined up. Not really, but you know, it's probably my calibration. I'm used to it right now, but there's also like the way I designed this, it's just screen and a thin piece of glass. So yeah, it's a very minimal parallax. I think I'm, I like adjusted it. So, you know, it, I hold my pen 45 degrees. So it lines up perfectly. So it's not quite perfect straight down. So don't worry about that. It, it feels perfect like this. Let's try it out. Converging lines. So, yeah. Oh, that was a mistake, but yep, very pretty easy to converge on a line. Ooh. And then I drew, accidentally drew star of anus. So, yeah, this this is wonderfully accurate to connect lines. Like, if, if it weren't accurate, you know, you, you'd have lines that are kind of miss the mark. But no, I can go right at the corner and, and see. I can overlap the same lines pretty effortlessly. Let's see. Yeah. And let's try to draw over it again. Oh, my, my mistake. Any miss was my fault, like, this is pretty accurate. Let me try that again. Other way around, you know. Yeah, so... Intuitive, at least for me, I wouldn't be able to do this on another tablet to just, like, you know... Oh, two lines next to other? Let's fill in the gap. Like, this requires and a lots of accuracy and trust. Oh, and by the way, I'll, everything the Wacom used to have works, of course, so... Got eraser. And then these buttons over here. This zoom and whatever you set it to, these this whole panel works. And draw some straight lines. Yeah, I really, really like that, like, there's no boinky the tips don't hook it's kind of just straight down wow feels great here undo button so works and that is about it with demo of the 120 hertz drawing monitor really recommend like i made this myself because none exist on the market it's just like maybe ipad or like samsung galaxy tab that i know that they, they probably feel about like this who knows maybe this is better you know nobody knows well if if i if they release like a small enough 240 hertz i'm definitely going to try to make another one of these because, yeah, I like the responsiveness. That's, that's all I had to say. Bye.